I'm a professional R6 yapper, and I think Deimos is one of the strongest solo queue ops in the entire game, but most people think he's kind of garbage. You might think he's garbage, but today I'm going to try to convince you otherwise because you could be using Deimos to upgrade your Rainbow Six solo queue game think like a champion and play even better. So let's get into a match. I'm gonna share all my thoughts with you so that you can rank up and be better at Rainbow Six Siege with a little help from our friend Deimos. All right, here we are on theme park and we are on the defense first, so it's okay. We'll play some Deimos counterplay to start, which would be Mute, Tubero, Vigil. Now, I actually don't think Vigil is a good counter to Deimos, guys, okay? And here's why. Because Tubero and Mute both counter Deimos by either A, walking to a Mute Jammer, throwing a Tubero Freeze at yourself, or B, yeah, no, that's A and B. That's A and B, I said them at the same time. But Vigil, all he's bringing to the table is really that counter Tubero. Vigil was already underwhelming, and then they're like, oh, we'll buff him a bit by making him counter Deimos. But we could just run the more OP operators, which are Mute and Tubero, two of literally the best operators in the game. So we'll play some Tubero, we'll play some Mute. We'll show you how it's done and you can even use the mutes and tuberos to freeze your teammates as well. So not only do you counter demos yourself, but you you also counter demos for the players around you too, which is very, very useful. Now, the site, the site, the site. Let's go, uh, yeah, I'm down for a niche. I like the top floor holds here. I do think mute is really, really strong. I just kind of want to run the ACOG on the AR. The AR with the ACOG is kind of nasty, but then again, the pump is kind of nasty too. But we've played a lot of smoke lately. We'll, we'll, we'll flop to the two, bro. I think Mute is a slightly better solo queue operator. He just brings a little bit more to the team. But you can't go wrong with running the two, bro, either. Especially with this DMR. Like, this DMR just shreds people. Does 67 damage. Shoots insanely quick. And then they're like, ah, we'll give it an ACOG on top. What is that? That is crazy, man. Uh, Aruni is another really good solo queue op if you're into the, uh, into the fist in as well. But also she has an ACOG DMR, which is Protect also nice. Now, I know the I know the DMRs are a little tougher on console, but on PC, bro, like the trigger finger you can get on these is insane. It's it's insane. Just And then it's only two bullets to kill someone. What what were the, what is that? That's nuts. That's what it is. Now I'm not sure if they'll run to uh Deimos. He is he is pretty good on this map, but I do think Deimos is a great solo queue operator. Um a lot of people don't think that. But I think just the amount of information he provides you is very, very strong. And here's the thing about, about information is you can't really rely on your teammates for information. It's hit or miss whether they'll, whether they'll actually call out. And when they do, it's hit or miss if their calls are even accurate in the first place. So it's kind of tough to rely on that. So you want to be bringing information for yourself. And Deimos brings information. His live tracks are information. And even if you're not calling out to your team, they're still very, very useful for him on his own. And you should be calling out to your team. But if you're not, you can still make massive plays with his info. Uh, that's why I think Yana is so good. It's why I think any sort of info op are really strong. If you have information and something to make plays with off of that information, like flashbangs, grenades, uh, a revolver that you can wallbang them through floors, then uh, you're pretty much set. So let's just hold this mirror for now. I'm just going to play safe. This is like a map where you don't need to roam too much. I would extend up here, but I'm worried about them opening the hatch. Yeah, they're rushing, rushing server. I have my freezes, so I can kind of slow them down. There we go. That's the Tubero special right there, boys. I should have probably froze that Blitz even sooner, but I kind of panicked a little bit, which is not good. But the C4 was a just fine move as well. <coughs> oh, my gosh. <coughs> Choking out of nowhere. Oh, my God. Choking on air. Who would have thought you could drown sitting at your desk? with no water um okay great round you know they tread that rush that rush is actually a really really good play that's something i might do on the attack is try to come in through a niche i won't do it with no drone like they did i will use my utility to try and do it and i will try to do it on my own as demos but i can use my drones um and use my pings to isolate a person that's on that site and use the grenades to feed them out of positions and potentially get the pick and gain site control that's a really big play that could win us the round single-handedly so that's something we might see um on the attacks but what we'll the wait and see freezing the walls is going to be big too like having this dmr with the acog site on throne is like throne's a big site There's, it's a long range site so being able to take those long range engagements with the long range gun is going to be very important plus we can use it to stall time 
help bandit trick uh, and just keep the breaches shut essentially because on this site they can only come in through two different ways if the, all the walls are still shut which is the split door and the dragon door which allows for very very strong crosses this is one of the this is one of the best sites for holding crosses with your teammates so as long as my teammates don't all die then the site's pretty much locked down if we can keep the wall shut and they don't all just like throw and run out of the site and die then we're pretty much good so if you have a five stack and you don't play solo queue then no, learning how to hold crosses and learning when you need more people on site like a site like this is very important so because we have the bandit we should be able to bandit trick but holding a cross like this and having a guy on the other side when somebody walks in split they're not able to fight both people at the same time right i'm shooting them in the back or they're shooting them back depending on which way they they look and i prefer to barricade this just just so we have the info so they can't just crouch walk in and sneak in a site that's another important thing and then if you break this spot you can actually get like a nice little pixel on here and also stay tucked without dying so this is like a nice little safe spot on site there's two coming dragon balcomai it's buck and amaru i believe call that out for my team actually never mind it's just buck cash hatch and then finca and thermite are going maintenance if you want to trick this wall i can freeze it for you bandit and then i can shoot the freeze right as you uh place your bandits yeah, he's gonna do it looks like he's saying yes sir um this is a really cool duo strat you can use, actually. So once they EMP this wall, what I'm going to do is freeze it at the top. Oh, it looks like they're going to nade over. They're going to nade it. Not if I can stop them. I killed one. So i got to watch out for the nade first. They made the hole for me, so I might as well take that. And Bandit's dead, so we can't actually do the strat. If I might be able to pick this Fink off. That would be huge. I'm hoping that flashbang also blinded them. I may have killed Thermite, which would have been really big. DMR, that's out of range. Split. I'm gonna have to get aggressive on this so I don't get killed from the split guy. Wow, what a shot. Damn, I got beamed by that Thermite. That's all right. Sometimes you take L's. And that was an L that I just took. Mute could still win this in the 1v2. Don't have info, but now he's trying to retake split, which is not great. Uh, him leaving site there was risky. There we go. Unfortunate. So it looks like I actually ended up C4ing the guy that needed over the wall. Took him out with that C4, so they couldn't actually get the bandits off. That's unfortunate. I mean, my team has two kills in two rounds, but they'll pick it up eventually. I'm not worried. We're going to keep a positive mental. We're going to still try to win. Um, we're going to go back. Do you guys want to try bunk? I think we could go bunk, just because our armory defense was not great. Serious, sir. And I think Bunk, we could do a little better. I might play the Mute this time and play a little aggressive on Cafe with the shotgun. It's going to be hard to actually drone me, and I can play that close range with the pump, which is huge. Um, the the pump is huge. Yeah, my pump is huge. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not playing Deimos, but we will get into the Deimos action very soon, I promise. And, yeah, I mean, so far, so good. I mean, Tubro is a beast. And then, you know, if they did bring the Deimos and they track me, I just throw a, throw a freeze at my feet. And then the, there's no absolutely no problem at all. It's great. It's actually it's actually really great. But most people just don't play demo, so it's not a big deal whatsoever. Uh, I will probably mute these walls. I don't normally mute walls, but this is one site where these two walls are very important on bunk. And if they don't bring EMP gadgets, it's going to be huge for us to keep this shut. So I am going to use two mute jammers for this. If I only use one, they can actually thermite the far side. Which is uh, something a lot of people don't know. If there's a mute jammer right in the middle, you can thermite right here. As high as you can. If you just look up if you just look up with a thermite charge or an ace charge, you can ace the top. Because you see the radius here. It doesn't cover the whole wall. So you actually need to use two mute jammers to keep a wall like this shut. Um, because typically you'd be able to fuse like, or thermite like right here. If that was the middle of the wall, this is the edge. So that's a cool little tip that if you didn't know, it's, it's pretty useful. And the rest we're going to use for... Well, maybe they, you know what? Let's just do that. Let's just do that anyway. Let's just do it. Let's just show you. Because maybe they'll just thermite the edge of this wall. So you can see they can thermite right there. But I want to use my last one for this doorway. I just don't want to get drone in cafe. And I want to be able to play aggressive on here with the shotgun. So this is where I won't get Doka be called. Uh, I won't get droned. It just stops a lot of bullshit from happening. It doesn't even look like they're coming over here. So cafe or dragon? Uh, Cafe hatch. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I see. I see what he's saying. They're just going to wait here, wait for them to open this. I might even like hide behind this desk for a second. Because if they burn this gate, I might be able to get a C4. And then I can push up with the pump afterwards. Uh, I can even make a rotate here. Test waiting hall from here. So that way 
If they're trying to come yellow, they try to come over here. Drone control. And I have a little bit of pressure on them without having to make it later. So I'm just going to keep locking down this area because if one comes here later, it's not going to be good for us. We lost a teammate, but we're okay right now. Let's keep playing safe. I can even hop on the yellow cam just to check and see if anyone's down there. Probably okay. Probably don't have to worry about that right now. Since there's nobody coming down dragon. So I have all the information on everything else. It seems like they're just coming waiting side at this point. So I could even push in here. I just do have to be careful because they could come down here. And it doesn't seem like Jaeger's watching the cam. So maybe I go prone so I'm not completely obvious. And I could also sit up here. So they bring EMP grain, so they got that wall, which kind of sucks. Swung the double door. Now I gotta get in, in and seal this distance here. I'm just gonna hold up pump range. Going prone is great, because if he pushes, he's gonna be aiming head level. Nothing on the C4 this time, but that's okay. We are two for two on the C4 until then. So I'm just going to keep waiting here. Now they could push the breach. I'm hoping my teammates are able to hold that. If not, I'm going to have to stand up and fight those guys behind me. But for now, I'm just going to hold this until I'm droned or the situation changes because I have some good positioning right now. And I got droned, so I'm going to move. Nice. Well, my with a big pick. That's me on the breach. And then the last one's at Finca waiting. So we know where she's at. We can just play passive. We have the diffuser. Legion's got the breach, so I know I'm not going to get pushed from behind. We just don't want to really get killed. Like, well, my plan is a little aggressive. I want to play with him to get his trade, but she has an LMG, so it's a little risky to be playing on them. Uh, we got the breach, uh, and eliminated. good work by the team, and a good solid defense. You know, 2-1, that's okay for theme park. Um, we should be okay on our attacks, especially with that Deimos baby. So it's Deimos time. Uh, great for floor banks, great for wall banks, great for sneaky plays. Playing him on the, on the backside. I'll try to do my best Deimos impersonation. I did play a match with cheaters just before this, and I was practicing my Deimos, okay? I got a little bit of a warm-up today, okay? So it should be nice. It should be nice for you guys. It's time. All right, so, yeah, if they're, if they're theme or if the, it's a theme park, if they're initiation, I'm going to try to go for that control hatch. That's a nice push where you can open up the hatch, sneak over there. Hopefully, my team comes from cafe side or Dragon Valk or something that they can um, cause a distraction in a way. And I could also try to come cafe by myself if my team's not pushing there at all. Gather a little bit of info. I am going to keep my drone alive here because I only have the two drones. Uh, and they are really, really strong together while you're solo queue with the Deimos ability. So having the drones to kind of know what's behind you, know what the area looks like, and get, gather a bigger picture on the area, and then be able to use your track to actually make a play, make an aggressive play afterwards, is really, really strong. So keeping my drone up is good. But at the same time, we do need to spot people. We do need to know who they have, and none of my teammates are driving their drones in, so I guess I will have to do it myself. I'll just do it when the round starts. I'll just try to scan people and scan gadgets as the round progresses. I'm not going to need my uh, Deimos tracks right, like, right off the beginning okay, anyway, exactly. so... Um, should be fine. And like, if they're spawn killing, like my ability isn't going to do anything. Go. So, uh, it's not something, the ability is not something I would use until later in the round anyway. And it's super, super good in the clutch. So staying alive is also really strong, but I still want to be making plays for the team and trying to open up opportunity to win the round. Almost got spawn killed. Well, you say it, you make it happen. I just fucking manifested that. You see that? I said, and if I use my ability to spawn peak, I did get spawn and then I got spawn peak. Okay, let's open the hatch. Add some pressure over here. I'm going to quickly drone if I can. I also want to open this window. Just add pressure to top dragon too, so they're a little concerned about it. Open up basically as much as I can. And you see my team is going cafe side, which means working this hatch is going to be really good because it's going to not only allow me to um, put pressure on this side, but it might allow me to sneak in and make a play. Now let's see. So this mirror is on the mirror. So that's going to be hard to drop because of the mirror, but top dragon's looking free. So I might be able to sneak through top dragon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another In drone for here. I'm going to put a drone for control. And the zombies in cash. So this is the guy I want to go for. So I'm going to track him. I'm going to hop in the window and I'm going to go for the fight. And now my whole team is dead in a minute, which is the way it goes. Okay, so one's down. Get my control cam. They shot it. I'm 
Now it's a 1v1, so this is very winnable. Last one's the mirror. I can track him. I might be able to win this. You can run, but you can't hide. No, he got me through the wall. Almost had the 1v4. Um, messed up. I just missed, honestly. I just whiffed. I had multiple opportunities to try and kill that Mira. It was unfortunate I only had 15 health. If I had a little more health, I think I would have been a little more confident in my swing. But that Vector is going to one-shot me, so it's the way it goes. But that just shows like how strong Deimos can actually be. So imagine I'm doing that but my whole team isn't dead. Like if, if, if I can do that, but my team is also distracting and pinching at the same time, like that's a very, very strong play that would win us the round single-handedly, right? And I was almost able to do it even in the 1v4. So it's a, it's just a great example of how strong Deimos really is. And um, that vendetta is just nasty. So I know I'm not I'm not talking a lot. Sorry, it's getting, it's pretty late and I'm, I'm not used to being up so late, but I have. Uh, I forgot to do this earlier. <laughs> I forgot. I was late. I was getting going to bed, and I was like, "Man, I forgot. I completely forgot. I didn't record a video." So, here we are. But uh, you know, I want to get it out for you guys. Want to help out the boys? All right. I lost my drone already, which was really stupid. I forgot my one rule, which was keep the drones alive. But it's okay. I know we have a Solus now. I know their basement now, so I kind of have a better idea of what I want to do. Fighting the Solus would be good, but if he has backup, it's gonna be hard to actually clear him out by myself. Now, if top floor is good and maybe it's looking pretty safe, I might elect to do that instead. Q ping that is on me, Kiba too. So now I got scans on them. Yeah, you can scan the gadgets and know who they are. So Jaeger's in sight, Zombie's in sight. That probably means there's Cade in sight as well. Here, the Cade, Smoke. Okay, so Solus might actually be roaming by herself. So we can take all this information, make assumptions, and hopefully be able to clear the map. And if we can clear the map, we can start going for those wall bangs or that those floor bangs onto the site players and add a lot of pressure onto them as well. I am always running the grenades on Deimos, by the way. If you're not running the grenades, it's kind of a troll because the grenades are really, really good for pushing people out of positions, especially while you're tracking them. So let's take a look and see what we got. I might just scan this Solus real quick just to figure out where she is. Uh, <laughs> I'm checking out where this Solus is at. Do you know where he is? Uh, Solus is like yeah. cafe side. One yellow stairs. I'm just gonna charge through. And I got pre-fired. That was stupid. That was the stupidest possible thing I did. I, di I honestly didn't think she could be holding that angle already. Um, yeah, that was really, really dumb. I knew she was completely alone, and I, I completely rushed it. So that's not that's how to not play Deimos. Okay, we just showed we just went from how to play Deimos to how not to play Deimos in a matter of two rounds. So yeah, just I went from like making the game winning play and still losing a round to making the game losing play and then losing us the round because now this Solus is killing everyone. Oh, uh, but we got her, so that's big. It's big that we got her. I can call if they push out split. So yeah, obviously don't do that. Like don't just don't sprint at them. Essentially, like you can bait them almost because they know you're coming, right? I just wanted to seal that gap. I thought he was gonna sneak into bunk, so I was trying to get up. I was just being a little too fast about it. I could have slowed down. I had the time. Um, it's a good learning moment for sure. We'll get him next time. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll get him next time. Now my teammates could still win this. Uh, we do actually. We don't have the eight. So Ram could go above and Ram. You could Ram above if you wanted. Uh, we do have the clone and the flashbangs. Lots of flashbangs. Yo, Yana, if you flash through the drone hole, Ram could push the guy on the right. Can you swing this guy on the right, Ram? But he's got to go off the. You got to go off the flashbangs in this thing. I think he's he's on the drone hole. Right on your right, on your right, Yana. Oh fuck, I'm crazy. Sorry. It sounded like he walked past him on my screen, but he's actually around this corner. Nice play. Dude, that audio was insane, dude. It sounded like he flashbanged the guy right on the drone hole, and the guy was like still blind as he walked past him. Some weird spectator sound, I guess, because this guy clearly didn't care. Down to one friendly. Two v one now. Find drone and others dragon. Drone guy. If he kills this drone guy, he can fight the dragon guy. Nice try, guys. Bad call, but it didn't actually get him killed luckily if it got him killed i would have i would have felt really bad but it didn't matter the bad call didn't matter at the end of the day 
the only thing that mattered about that bad call was that I shouldn't make that bad call again. But then again, I'm going to call that nine out of 10 times because that was like the most like obvious call out in the world from my, from my opinion. That was like, there was like, there's no possible way he's not in that corner, but no, it was just backwards. Classic spectator seed sound. So what can you do? It's fine. Oh shit. I'm pounding my monitor. Nothing new for it. It gets pounded every night. All right. Um, so this is probably the point where I would stop playing Deimos. Even like Deimos isn't someone you want to run every single round, right? Because if they're smart, they're going to counter. They're going to bring a mute. They're going to bring a tubero. They're going to bring a vigil. The vigil counter really doesn't do a lot in my opinion. Like you could just not scan vigil. You can literally just scan literally anyone else. But the mute and the tubero are really effective at countering it. Um, in terms of like everybody, you scan someone all of a sudden they're in a mute jammer and your ability is completely useless, right? So running mute and tuber are, are a great way to counter them if you really are getting completely plowed by them. But I, I don't know. I think Deimos is really, really strong. Um, and I've had really, really good experiences from the start of the season with them as well. Lost my drone again. Absolute, absolute klutz over here. They have a Solus underneath. It's hunting for drones. So they're bunk side this time. I think I might uh, go cafe or go control hatch, maybe make a play down there. Or I could go even break repel, which could be good. I might be able to get a pick off break Five repel. Seconds. And we only have Solus scan, so this could be tough for the boys. The other thing about pushing that Solus last round is that Solus has the P90, and that gun has a massively high rate of fire. So pre-firing Deimos as the Solus is going to be a lot easier just because of how fast that rate of fire is, right? So let's hop on this repel. Maybe try to get a quick pick. That's a crazy castle. Quick pick done. Huge. Vendetta is OP. You can just ace it, Doug. Now we do have to worry about this soul list, but I want to get some quick info here. One's top uh, top arcade. Bomb has been located. Grenade. Wow, that guy actually ate a grenade. Oh, Make a hole for this guy. I'm scanning him. Good shit, guys. All right, just solid window play. Just using the vendetta and the grenades for for big plays. He's a really fast reaction time. Wait, who is GG? We lost. Yeah, GG. We lost. All right, apparently this guy's cheating. So cool, epic. We're still 10 and 3. We're still doing good. Uh, that vendetta is nasty. It's it's just so Pretty nasty. Like, I think I shot that guy in the like corner I, one I time, and then like the grenade just pinned like him down, and you couldn't seconds. do anything. If he tries to run from the grenade, I'm going to slam him. You know, I'm going to shoot him with the gun. Uh, and, yeah, just some, some good, solid utility work right there. So we're pushing overtime. We got the Deimos for two more rounds here. I wouldn't be surprised if these guys are cheating just because they haven't brought mute or a counter to Deimos a single time, even though I've ran them three rounds. That just doesn't happen very often in high elo like this. So, and with the names, it's it's it wouldn't be surprising if they're cheating. That's just it's just another day in the life, and I've been playing cheaters all day today. It's been it has been rough. It has been rough, but we live and we learn, and we continue to play Rainbow Six, and we continue yeah, to teach how to play the game better. Because you know. I like you guys. I think you're cool. I want to help you out, and I do appreciate you guys watching the videos. And obviously, I benefit I benefit from it too. You know, like this is my job, but um, it's great. And I really, I really do think you guys are actually learning from these, which is which is really nice. It's nice to hear you guys' feedback. I think if you guys are watching these videos every day, you are learning much, like a so much more in a week than you would if I posted just two like two videos a week like I was before. So. I do think these are you I do think these are good. I do think they're informative and I and I hope you guys actually take what I say and uh, try to use a lot utilize it to the best you can in your game. So again, gotta watch for this spawn peak. Got plowed already a little bit by it. I didn't die to it which is nice, but like I don't want to. I don't wanna start, you know. Careful the cash door. Some people stand on the cash you can actually stand on the cash door and peek this without being detected. It's pretty it's actually very annoying. Uh, but it's also very effective. Where is the site here? Is it a niche? That's a niche, right? I might push with my team this time just to help them out. See what we got going over here. We can maybe get this wall and actually make some work. They also seem to be working pretty well together, so calling out who I'm tracking for them would also help. Do you know where this Solus is at? One stop dragon. I don't know if it's Solus or not. 
I'm just gonna see what's going on and then probably scan someone and drop. Oh, no one's in breed. Let's go. Now I can't find the solo, so. Yeah, you can drop, you're good. There's no one. Oh, docks, docks by vault. I'm getting vault. So it looks like an Azami just ran into control, so I might actually try to scan her and sneak up to the control hatch in a sec. He's close, close, close. Bubble's open. On the way. One's cash, one's cash. I see you. Watch your bathroom. Watch your bathroom. He's bathroom side. Wow, I just missed every shot. Oh my god, it's way too late at night for this. This guy should have been dead 10 times over, but I'm actually ass, okay? Normally I win those. Normally I win those. <laughs> it did cause a really big distraction for my team, though. Almost Even though I died, I caused a big distraction and pulled that guy's attention for a while while we had man advantage. So it, it should be okay. We might be all right. One's bathroom. The other one was a niche. It was a zombie niche. Uh, but yeah, absolutely atrocious gameplay by me. I apologize. I don't even know how I'm tending for it right now. So I've got a bug where I just can't see anything, unfortunately. So I'm just gonna have to keep switching so that I can actually see something. There we go, I fixed it. I fixed it by spamming. Yeah, he's complaining on the bomb if you hold bathroom. One friendly operator remains. Uh, this Twitch could win it. I believe, so dude, bathroom. I believe. Wow, that's really sad, because if this Solus is cheating, I could could kill him with the with my wall hat versus his. Going pretty nicely here. All right, come on, Twitch, you got it. Wallace is meowing at me. Who wants food? Yeah, this this Solus knows a lot. You got this, big dog. Fifteen seconds remaining. The Solus might just try to avoid him the whole time. Be fair. Yeah, we this guy's definitely cheated. That's my bad, bro. I don't think it's your fault, bro. I'm pretty sure he's cheating. Okay, well, I to swing him. Just my cat would just start meowing at me for food, and then I pull his food out, and he walks away, dude. L cat, whoever Wait, commented L cat on my other video, you were right. Nah, we got fucked up. We should go niche. Okay, okay. Dude, what an L bozo. Can we get an L Wallace? L Wallace, but I still love him in the comments, dude. Absolutely insane. <sighs> wow. All right, so. Definitely not some not solid Deimos gameplay, but I do think I do think Guys, my prop just hit with 13 seconds left in over. I do think the um the premise is there, right? The that premise is there, and once you just start, you you do have to kill. You Ooh, have to on. shoot people with them. You do have to be able to aim. Oh, if you're within your shots, like like I was those past two rounds, and just fingers, like fingers, also being dumb, good. he's very technical. It's not gonna work if you're whiffing. Like he's very technical. You have to have good aim. You There's have no to have room. good information. You have to be smart. He's Zach hard. He's a difficult to... operator, but you can get Secure really, really awesome. strong with him. And I and I do really believe that. Um, he's even better in a stack, obviously, because you can call it where they're at, but I still think he's very lethal while so like I, um, I might not have convinced you because it is something that takes time, takes work, and he's hard to he's hard to learn for sure. Um, even, even, even right now I'm, I'm messing up. Like I haven't played him in a few days outside of just the last match before this and not a few days, maybe a few weeks. Uh, I've been playing a lot of Yana and Smoke, so it's, it's a, it's a different play style, but if you can learn it, it's, it's really yeah, solid. On, uh, and I really do believe that. Let's get rid of this drone. Now I just gotta worry about this control rush again. I don't think they'll do it because it got pretty shut down last time. They might try it with a Ying this time or something instead. Or have someone drop it late, but I'm just gonna play in sight with the with the freezes, waste time, etc. I know, but like the odds for it are probably like negative. I don't know what these guys are talking about. March Madness? Is March Madness going on? I don't watch sports. Yeah, they lost a person, which is nice. Good for us. They'll add like 10 cents, but it's still free. Let's see what we got. So I'm just going to chill here. I'm going to be pre-jacked with this so I can throw it on here if they try to rush again. One's control hatch. Now I got to worry about those candelas. I'll be all right. I think I'm good. Oh, nice kill. Holy shit. Good shit. They were ready for that too, and he just slammed them. So we have a two-man advantage now. I should try to help Goyo if I can. Reloading. 
just gonna hold this angle. Might get pre-fired off it, who knows. But if he tries to cross this hole, I might do at least do some damage. I do have this DMR, right? Arcade cam it's this tight little What's pixel. Alright, well, he's dead. I can't do anything anymore, so I'll back off. I'll hold this mirror with my if you want to watch I the uh, waiting push. Yeah, I'm feeling myself. He's feeling himself. I'll let him get the frags. I'll just hold his backside. Play this safe. Play this smart. I can throw some freezes here late if they are only pushing that side just to slow them as they push in. Oh, yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Gas him up. Get him hyped. Let him know. Oh, I didn't even hear that. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, it was on the outer wall. Thermite's in break. I meant to do this. Freeze effect. I don't want to play too aggressive, but I do want to still contest this. They're both on this side. It's Thermite and IQ, so we know they're both this side. I can hold this door pretty pretty tight off this pixel. You watch him waiting, Bandit. Kind of. So what he did here is he thermite the break wall, which which opens up this side wall as well. It's a really nice play. Something you could use. You can thermite the break to open the electrified wall. You can thermite the break wall. Just at the far right of it. That's One the idea. Right side breach. Nice. Let's go, chug chug. Chug chug J Chan. What a beast. Playing my trade there is really smart, right? He swings off of it. Thermite can't shoot us both at the same time. If he swings off the contact and I die, he gets the kill. If I don't die, you know, we're, there's still two of us shooting at him. If Thermite goes to shoot with my instead of me, I kill the Thermite, right? So unless he hits a really nice spray transfer, it's just not happening. All right. This is the round where we get some solid Deimos gameplay. We had one round, but it wasn't even about his ability. I've been actually pranking with his ability right now, and... It's, it's really not doing me the justice that it deserves because it is, it is nasty. It is nasty, okay? Believe. Believe. And it's 4-4 overtime match point. This is the round where I need to show that Deimos is that freaking guy. And that's what I plan on doing. If I have to ace, I will. If I have to 9K them, I will, okay? Let's freaking do it, dude. I'm 11 and 5. I'll kill 9 people if I have to. I'll kill everyone in the lobby, including my whole team, okay? Just to show you that Deimos is good. Now, they are thrown. Um, probably a, a site I would not typically pick Deimos on, because really all I'm going to go for here is like some floor banks if I take the top floor. It would be good to kind of clear uh, roamers. If I'm in a 5 stack, Deimos could be good for the roam clear. But if there's more than one roamer, it's not going to be super effective, but they tend to only have this Solus, um, who also might be cheating, so <laughs> we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'll probably do the same thing, come through control hatch, yeah, just so not like bum rush him like a moron so this is time. That, like, drug. He's in drug. Even if he is cheating and has wall I'm hacks, I also have wall hacks because I'm Deimos, right? So we can, uh, we can make it work. You've located a bomb. Make now sure I do have to be careful of uh, spawn peaks. A lot of people like to run out this balcony and even when you're aiming at it, it's still hard to win the fight on it. All right, let's see what we got up to the roof it's one of the safest ways to repel up i think but you have to be careful of the doors and the windows i'm gonna open this up so i might be able to hop on top dragon the same way we did that other round vendetta for the hatch very nice ability very nice to be able to open the hatch with this oh my gosh this thing is invincible all right let's see i'm gonna reload my primary just in case i need it later solace is in this right now I'm gonna scan her just to get the ping on her. Could you demos her and just like let me know where she is? I I I don't have the ping on her. Not scan. C4. Oh, she's a niche. You. Yeah, she's a niche right now. I can uh, demos her in a sec. Hey, you want me? So I'm gonna demos yeah, yeah, her. Track run. He's still a niche. Still a niche. Still a niche. Nice. Good shit, dude. Good shit. So my teammate came from behind. Great work from my teammate. Definitely helped me out a lot. And that was the guy that we're pretty sure is wall hacking. Now let's see what we got. A zombie is dead. Get a scan on Jaeger. We open yellow wall? Do we know who the last one is? I can open it, I can open it. Careful that breach if he stuffs his face. Just hold in case he swings off that. He is. He was thinking I was gonna reload. I don't reload, bro. 
Bring it out split, out split, out split. He's not in split. Is it Cade? Who is it? Who is it? Back, back. Throwing track bang. I see you. I'm back then. Grenade One split door. Reloading. Cover. Cade's also in B. Nice. Last one's Jaeger. I just gotta hold split. On me, close side, close side, me. Nice, okay. That's the aggression. You need to play aggressive off those pings. You see how I just sprinted? I just send it. I'm just gonna hope Kade doesn't kill me. I'm gonna hope I can swing that as Akiba, get Jaeger down, get back into cover before Kade kills me. And then I can cancel the ping, switch to my primary, and take out the Kade. And that's the game winning play right there. Yo, good game, guys. Good teamwork. So we got the 13 and 5. Nine rounds of gaming. I hope you guys enjoyed. Wow, what a game. That was an intense match, and I'm glad we I'm glad we took it in the end. You know, I told you I would do it, and we did it. So go watch part two on my game channel. Thank you for watching. Hell yeah, boys. See you tomorrow.